I'll just say it. In the long run, if you look back, this may be the single most important impact that the phenomenon of Iraq has had and will have in the period ahead. All right, there's a second facet to all of this, though. Set aside the possibility of competition between Najaf and Dome. One can raise the question, is, is the impact from Iraq various Shia communities in the Arabian Peninsula and elsewhere. How are they reading and seeing all that is going on in Iraq? These communities exist in Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Bahrain, actually in Bahrain, the Shia are a majority, and they actually exist beyond the Persian Gulf region. The Shia communities are participating in Lebanon. I think quite frankly, it's really to tell that how a Shia politics in the Arabian Peninsula, for example, is going to evolve, although I think it's a kind of a Shia awakening. Seeing that question, the implications of the United States. We have major port facilities in ports in Saudi Arabia's province, which is where all the Shia are, they are most of the Shia live. The province is also major oil. Let me shift away now from a religious perspective and focus attention on an issue which is religious, but I think which is analytically distinct 